Welcome to Matrix Tech Talk. In this episode, I talk about the market potential of Waymo. Waymo, the company that makes autonomous vehicle software, has been recently estimated to have a valuation of 250, wait for it, billion dollars. This valuation is insanely high. In today's podcast, I'm going to give you my analysis why I think Waymo has been estimated to have a valuation of $250 billion. To give you a little bit of background, Waymo is owned by Google's parent company, Alphabet Inc. Since 2016, they operate as an independent subsidiary of Alphabet Inc. Before I dive into my analysis, I would like to give you some numbers just to have a comparison with the traditional OEMs. Traditional OEMs, blue chip companies like BMW, has a market cap of $52 billion. Volkswagen Concern has a market cap of $79 billion. Fiat Chrysler has a market cap of $23 billion. Even one of the most aggressive player in autonomous driving, Elon Musk's Tesla has got a market cap of 55 billion. So you can see in this perspective, the valuation of Waymo is insanely high when they don't even make a single car. The CEO of Waymo, John Krafczyk, uh, says, Waymo is not a car company. Waymo is building the most experienced driver in the world. Here's my analysis why I think Waymo is estimated to have a valuation of $250 billion. First, Waymo is a kind of a company that's known as the EXOS, Exponential Organization. The term exponential organization was introduced by Salim Smile in his book, Exponential Organization. For example, the company Uber that was founded in 2009 has a an estimated valuation of $120 billion when they're filing for IPO this year. So the, one of the, one of the characteristics of such exos are their expansion happens literally at zero cost. If Uber wants to add another car in their fleet, the cost for Uber is literally zero. Airbnb, for example, is another company that is such such exponential organization. They, um, they if they want to add another room in their in their portfolio, their cost is literally zero. For on the other hand, the traditional hoteliers like Hyatt Hotel will have to spend millions of dollars. So this is one characteristic that makes companies exponential and Waymo will have that characteristic. The cost of their growth will literally be zero. Another reason I think the estimation of the valuation of Waymo is so insanely high is the market potential of autonomous vehicle is estimated to be multi-trillion dollar market. There are several business cases that we can, we can talk about in the autonomous vehicle market, for example, autonomous taxi. So when it came to Uber, you could, uh, Uber could expand when people were actually selling their time in order to make money for themselves and for Uber. In case of Waymo, people who will be participating in this, in this party will not even have to spend their time. They'll come to office, they'll put it in the taxi mode, download the software, and their car will make money for them. So this is taking the entire business of car sharing to another dimension, which is humongous. That is one reason. Another business case for autonomous vehicle is trucks and lorries, logistics. In the, at the moment, we have a massive shortage of uh, truck drivers in Germany, for example. But soon, these will be covered by the autonomous software, autonomous driving software. Another business case um, that I think is, has high, high potential in, in case of Waymo or any other company that's bringing autonomous vehicle driving software in the market is software licensing. So this is where um, traditional OEMs or newer OEMs where, where we'll buy the license of the software from Waymo or any other manufacturer of such. And this is also a high potential, very high, very high valued market. 
Another potential market is a marketplace for running new ads. Very, very personalized, even with local geographical information. Waymo will be able to put ads for the passengers of these vehicles, people who will be using this vehicle. So this has an enormous market potential. Given the data, the amount of data Google has and the amount of reach Google has to its users, this will bring running ads for personalized targeting uh, to another level. They'll be able to target uh, the consumers in a laser sharp manner with such scenarios. So this will bring uh, a lot of, potentially a lot of revenue to Waymo. Finally, the business case that I'm personally super excited about is a potential app store for autonomous software, autonomous vehicle software or aut autonomous software. Right now, we have silos for every manufacturer. So if you want to, be, we usually build software for a particular OEM. We don't have the possibility to build a software, a cruise control software or, or a, a lane keeping software and put, roll it out in, a, in an app store directly for consumers. Historically, if I look back, this was the big bang of Android and Apple. This is where, what, where, where, where the market exploded. And I would hope to see something like this. And certainly, Waymo will have the, has the potential to, to create such app store where anyone will be able to put apps and, and, and directly for consumers. Obviously, I know safety, securities will be the concern. However, if the quality control certification, these things are taken rigorously, this can be managed, I believe. And this will be really the big bang of um, autonomous vehicle software at large. To sum it up, in my opinion, here are the reasons why Waymo has been estimated to have a valuation of 250 billion. First of all, it's exponential organization nature. It's can, it can grow exponentially with, that, with having literally zero cost. Second is the enormous multi-trillion dollar market, cap, uh, market potential of autonomous vehicle. Third, a potential new platform for running ads. Finally, a potential of an app store big bang, which will democratize the autonomous software, autonomous vehicle software or automotive software in general. So I would love to hear from you if you have liked uh, this podcast, if you agree or disagree, if you would like to add anything. Besides the reasons that I have mentioned here, do you see new business cases? Do you even see that this valuation is an overestimation? I would love to hear your opinion. Please write comment below. In this podcast show, we bring in the industry leaders and experts in the automotive domain to share their experiences along their journey. The mission of our podcast is to start a dialogue that will allow us to understand the development of automotive industry and where the automotive industry is going. You can ask questions to our guests directly. Just send us an email to podcast at matrix.de. We'll schedule a call with you during the recording and you'll be part of our show. Make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any new episodes. Please share this video to help others get enlightened as well and that would mean a great deal to us.